So what we need to do now is make a new profile. So in this profile, switch profile. This is going to be our internet profile. Obviously you can get icons again. I'm going to uh, use my own icon, but notice I've only got home or next profile. So if I go to home and it says edit profiles, I've only got one and it's home. So I need a new profile. To do this, you can right click here and duplicate this, or I can click this plus sign at the bottom. And there you see, I've got a profile one. So what I'm going to do is uh, rename it www because it's going to be my internet and here also www and uh, maybe make the text white so that's our icon i'm going to change that anyway but what we have to do is make sure that when we click on this it goes to that profile so when we click on this, it has to go to www. So make sure you sort this out. They should be the same. Now watch what happens when I press the www. I'm in the new zone, but I'm trapped. I can't get back. There's no button for me to press that helps me to move. And because it's a new profile, as you can see, they've given me that welcome sign again. I don't want that. So let's delete that. What I need now is a button to bring me back home. And I always tend to put them in the corner. So let's do switch profile again. And this time I am going to look for an icon here from the stream deck library, because I do believe they have a back arrow, which I like here. So I click on this, I'm going to title it return and put that at the bottom and probably make it orange. Okay, so that's my return button. However, it's not going to return me because it says next profile. What I need to do is click on this and make sure it, it takes me home. So now, if I click away, if I click this button here now, let me just get rid of this. I click this button here now, returns to home. I click the home button, nothing. I go WW and I'm there again. And I click return, I'm there again. So now I can go into my internet, do whatever I want, add the icons and simply return to the home base. So that's your first profile. Now what we have to do is put those stuff in the internet, the Google, the website, and the uh, history remover. First of all, I do want to change this icon. I have my own um, icons here that I'm gonna use, and this is the one I like that I made. Once again, I'm gonna show you how I made these earlier. You can not show the title, and that's much better now. So let's go into the profile. I'm here now. And the first thing I want to do is just open up Google. So for this, we use the open button. So I drag the open button. And all I do is click in this box and look for that exe file. It automatically opens in programs. So remember, if you have programs that are in the old 86 thing, uh, then you may have to look there. But for me, I think Google is here. There it is. And it even writes in the text itself. So I can leave it like that. But because I know it's Google, I can remove that. So I don't need that. And now if I click on it, it opens up the website, which is great. So now let's add a website. And the website I want to add is this Movies Joy website where I go to and I watch things for fun. And so I'm going to right click this, copy it, 
and simply paste it here. To do that, I need to drag over this website here, website, and the URL goes here, paste it, and I can call it MJ for Movies Joy, and that's it. And once I click on this, you'll notice it jumps to the website. And now for this, I'll simply add a Movies Joy icon that I made earlier. And I'll just throw it in here. And there it is. And I can remove the show tile. Next, and finally on this website here, I'm going to show you how I did that deleting all the history. So if we look at the website here, now it must be open in full to do this action. It's because if it's small like this, there's a whole different way the icons work or the way the keystrokes work. So what I mean by this is we're going to do these steps. Imagine I'm, I'm watching this and I want to delete it. Uh, and I want to go back to not having looked at the internet. So normally you click here history, which is control H. Now the icons in the search, so you'd press a tab and tab brings you here. So now you need page down one, two, three, and then enter. So you press return. Then you're here and now you have to press tab 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Then you'd press enter. Now you have to get rid of these three pages and to do that, to close them, control W. So what you'd have to do is put in the hotkey, control W, control W, control W. And then it looks like I was never watching TV and the history is deleted. Okay. So now in order to do the delete history, we need a multi action. So the multi action I'm going to entitle history. And we need to put in these actions. So it seems to be a lot of hotkeys and a bit of delay as well. So hotkey one, it doesn't take long to do this. And the first one click here is control H. The next one is a delay. So let's throw in a delay. Now with the delays, they're always one second. You can change it to two seconds. Sometimes I have done that because it takes a certain program a bit longer to open before I can do another function. So one second is okay for this. Then I need a tab, hotkey tab. Make sure you click here and the tab. They label themselves, then three hotkey downs. So three, one. This one is down arrow. I'm just gonna copy that, control C and control V, V. So I've got three control downs. Now I need the return. So hotkey, make sure I click here enter return then i want a one second delay so put that there one second down down return delay i'm going to drag this further down so i've got some room now i need the hotkey tab 12 times so i've got one here so i'm just going to copy that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that was control v i did so I've got 12 of them. Now I need a hotkey return. So hotkey return. Or enter as it's called. Uh, I want a one second delay. Just put one there. And then I need control W three times. So another hotkey. Make sure it's in the right place below. Control W. And then I want to copy that one, two. So I've got that three times. Okay. So now let's try it out and let's see what happens when I click movies joy, it opens up and what happens when I press history. Ta-da. So there you have it. It's deleted all the history. So uh, the same goes with Firefox. 
If you want to have a go at it yourself, just open up the Firefox page and just add these um, hotkey. Now it will not work, remember, it will not work if you open Movies Joy and you make it kind of small like this. Because it won't work because if you click here and go History, now if I click Tab, it's not in the search bar. If I click Tab, it goes here. And then if I click down arrow, one, two, three, four, nothing. And if I click enter, see, it's, it's different. So you'd have to think about different keys for different sizes, I guess. So we've done our part two. Remember that these other buttons, if I show you here, if you look at my iPad, if we go into the internet here, you can see that these are the buttons you can make yourself. Look, that's Control N, New Tab, Control T, Close All, Alt F4, TV Guide, Website, Win H, that's for if you want to talk instead of write, uh, BBC. Now that has four actions because it has to open Firefox first, then it has to have a delay, then it has to open BBC iPlayer. So I, I can actually show you that I work because I have my uh, tablet here. So if I click that now, just make sure I'm on the desktop. I click BBC. See, it opens in Firefox, tapes it in, press enter. Bingo, bingo. I'm watching on Firefox. So let's look at part three now, where I show you how to do Word and Excel together.